All right, today we are talking about back squats and more specifically the high bar back squat. So let's see what it looks like first. All right, so the back squat. We're going to talk about all sorts of things from how to rack it on your back. We'll talk briefly about breathing and bracing. That'll be actually in a different video. We'll talk about the descent, what it looks like at the bottom and how low is low enough. We'll talk about astagrass certainly today. We'll talk about rebounding out of the bottom and a few other tips and tricks as we go. So let's talk about the rack position first. So let's just watch how I do this setup. Now, I'm using jerk blocks because I can get the bar into the right position on my back. Now, a lot of people, what they'll do is something similar if they're in a rack. They will step into and under the bar. So let's just get this going. They will step into and under the bar as if it's on the rack. And that's what I'm trying to demonstrate here. Boom. Now, here's what we need to remember. What I'm doing is right here, my wrists are relatively straight. Okay, now I don't typically use wrist wraps when I'm doing squats. I just happened to be weightlifting this day when I took this video and I kept my wrist wraps on. So it's not something that you need. Now, for me, it's setting on my traps. Okay, it's setting on the muscles of my neck, not necessarily the shoulders. Okay, now a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll set it across their shoulders down here somewhere more on their rear delts and we call that a low bar so this is a high bar because it's on top it's above my shoulders or directly on top of okay now we'll show this a little bit more from the side but you can see I'm pinching my shoulder blades together and pushing up into the bar okay what that's doing is that's creating a shelf for the bar to sit across okay so this is a pretty comfortable position for me for a while a lot of people they have to develop the right position because it's going to be uncomfortable for them because maybe it's on their neck and that's something we want to avoid right we don't want it on our neck and if let's say we put it lower so if we put it kind of more in the low bar position people's wrists have a tendency to kind of bend and we want to avoid that okay especially if we're doing high bars low bar is a different story you allow your wrist to bend in order to get it lower on your back Okay, that's the rack position. Now, let's see what happens when I unrack the bar. So it's in the rack, I stand up with it. Boom. Same concept. Oh, let me play this a little bit. There. The bar settles. Same concept. As best I can, I'm trying to have a very flat position. One of my elbows is a little lower in this video, so I'd want my elbow just a touch higher if I were to be cueing myself. But again, my upper back is what we call is extended okay so if you were to see my upper back from a side angle which you'll be seeing in a moment here there's a natural curve because normally your body wants to curve this way right that hunchback syndrome but again I'm trying to make sure that I am curving forward so some people they like to hear the cue chest up and I'll be giving you guys a different cue but if you were to see my back from the side which you'll see in a second it my entire spine lines up straight okay or neutral as we like to call it so let's go to the back squat give me a moment okay so in this position again we have the extended upper back okay my wrists are nice and straight you can just see this nice rack position the bar is on my body and my whole body is holding this bar up it's not just resting on my shoulders so if there's anything you get from what I mean by racking the bar it's an active position okay so I'm still setting up here give me a moment okay now the descent boom going down before I go you'll see I take this big breath I hold it for a moment right I take my big breath hold it for a moment but when I unlock my knees what's going on is the bar is for the most part going straight down my hips go slightly back but I'm actually bending my knees first to make sure that I am putting all of the load, or at least most of it, on my quadricep muscles. So when we're do the, doing this back squat, I primarily want your quadricep muscles 
to be doing the work. Okay, it's a lower body push exercise, and therefore we're using our quadriceps. So let's watch this a little bit. Okay, so right there you saw my knees bent. They go into the position I want them. My hips unlock a little bit further. And then from here, my knees relatively stay in the same position. My ankles bend a little bit more. And my hips are going to come somewhat down and somewhat back as I go towards the bottom. Then once I pass parallel, what's going to happen is by keeping my feet flat, keeping my knees relatively in place, naturally my joints are going to flex, or I'm sorry, they're going to stretch even further. So as I go down, you see that little bounce? Let's back it up a little bit. There's going to be a little bounce. Okay, we call that, I, I like to call that a bounce or a rebound. Notice I'm not losing any position in my back. You can see at the bottom here, just like we talked about in the rack position, my spine is nice and straight, right? It's nice and neutral because the entire time as I'm going down and holding my breath, I'm thinking, okay, extend my upper back and make sure that my feet stay flat. Those are the cues that work for me. Feet are flat, extend your back. Okay, that way, when I am approaching the bottom and I'm looking to rebound out of the bottom, not crash and stand up, but when I want to rebound out of the bottom, there's still a lot of tension there because right at the bottom, that bounce, what's happening is all of your primary muscles, so your quadriceps, your butt, all of those muscles are getting a really quick, more aggressive stretch right at the bottom. But notice when I hit the bottom, Oops, come on, baby. When I hit the bottom, I'm not getting any excessive lower back curving. A lot of times what you'll see is right about where my belt is, you'll see people's hips tuck under really far, and you'll see some space come up under their heels because they end up going too far onto their toes. What I'm trying to do is keep as much pressure equalized in my foot as possible. So there's just as much, if I draw you a picture, so let's just say this is my foot, right? Terrible foot. But there is just as much pressure in the ball of my foot, right? If these are my toes here, boop, boop, boop. I only have three toes today. If those are my toes, there's just as much pressure there as there is stemming from my heel. I'm trying to keep all of my weight centered right in the middle of my foot. Okay, so let's undo that. All right, and that will cause me to stay tight in through the bottom of this squat so that I can whoop right up. Now, again, the entire squat, my body, my spine stays relatively neutral, right? It's in a nice straight line. So we'll see that again. Watch just my, my torso, right? Watch my torso. Boom. It stays tight. There's no violent bouncing out of the bottom. There's no displacement. A lot of times when people get down here, and this isn't a lightweight, this is like 300 pounds or something. A lot of times when they drive out of the bottom, the first thing to happen is their chest drops and their hips shoot up. But if you watch this, my knees stay in the same position and my hips and shoulders, so therefore the bar, rise at the exact same time. And that's what we're trying to accomplish when we're doing this squat. So let's see another one. I think this is a set of three, so we got a few extra to watch. Big breath, big brace, boom, nice, tight, no displacement of my upper body, no displacement of my back. Big breath, brace, drive, knees stay in the same spot, and my squat on the way down, right, knees get into position, my hips move, my squat on the way down looks very similar to my squat on the way up, right? My knees stay in the same spot. My hips are the first thing to move. And then finally, my knees come back together, just like it would be on the way down. So in reverse, it looks very similar as the way forward. So things I want you to remember. Nice, active rack position. You take a big breath. Your feet are flat and your upper back stay extended. Your knees do not shift around. The And we should look exactly the same on the way down as we do on the way up. More advanced videos are coming soon.